Texas is a land known for its vast open spaces, but the Texas landscape is actually quite diverse. The ecoregions of Texas range from the piney woods of the east to the mountains in the west to the gulf prairies and marshes to the south. The North Texas region is part of the Southern Plains, featuring different prairie types, from the deep, fertile soils of the Blackland Prairie in the east to the less fertile soils of the Grand Prairie or Fort Worth Prairie in the west. A distinct habitat in the Fort Worth Prairie called the Barrens challenges nature with its shallow soils on limestone outcrops, Texas winds, sparse rainfall, and blazing summer sun. These North Texas barrens are mimicked on the living roof, a rooftop biohabitat inspired by the barren plains of the North Texas Southern Plains. Tony Burgess, a naturalist originally involved in the Biosphere Project, explains. Biomimicry basically means designing something that mimics a natural or biological or living process. Something akin to restoration ecology, but instead of restoring a natural habitat, we're actually trying to mimic that habitat in a, an artificial or technological context. The Southern Plains are perfectly suited for experimental rooftop environments because of the shallow soil of these plains, unlike many other types of potential soil configurations requiring much deeper soil in order to maintain a living environment. What makes this roof most unique is the fact that we kept emphasizing the important use of living natural soil. And the problem that comes with that is the extra weight loading of that living natural soil. The people that designed this roof actually increased the weight loading of the roof so that we could use some component of natural soils in this. And as my experience with Biosphere 2 led me to understand that living soil is probably your most important component of a regenerative or restoration design. So the wonderful thing that working with Beck Construction allowed us to do was actually to use their resources to locate a natural prairie barrens and we visited several sites until we found one that had a relatively low weed content and a very friendly owner who donated the soil and the loading equipment so we were able to load up the living soil and put it into the coconut fiber containers when they were planted uh, within less than three weeks. BRIT, or the Botanical Research Institute of Texas Living Roof, is part of a very special building designed and built to demonstrate the goals of the organization itself. Under this innovative rooftop lies a 70,000-foot building containing BRIT's resources and staff. The herbarium houses over a million species from almost every plant family on the planet. The library contains over 125,000 books, journals, and periodicals available to researchers worldwide. Britt's own research projects include those conducted within the state of Texas, but also many done within the once thriving rainforests from Costa Rica to the Philippines to New Guinea. And finally, education, which emphasizes the interdependence among all living things, especially the critical role plants play in our everyday lives. This building's design exemplifies the overall purpose of BRIT by not only supporting, but also demonstrating to the world sustainable use of our natural resources. One of the key components of this innovative rooftop environment is the water management system. To begin with, the innovative rooftop design was inspired by nature itself and uses only native plants, those able to handle the harsh Texas summers, with the runoff being routed to a water retention pond held for irrigation use later. In addition, runoff from nearby parking areas filtered by plants within Brit's rain gardens also assist in filling this pond. As much as 46% of the water retained in the pond will be used for irrigation. Some of the benefits of the living roof include the reduction in the heat island effect created by our concrete urban jungles, a rich habitat for pollinators and other wildlife, and the restoration of a disappearing habitat. The rooftop habitat also insulates the entire building from the intense Texas heat, keeping AC energy use to a minimum. And as if the water system wasn't innovative enough, there are 168 geothermal wells dug 250 feet below the building that pump air from the ground below, where the Earth's constant temperatures can absorb the heat of the summer and the cold of the winter. 
these geothermal wells are expected to reduce overall power consumption by as much as 50% over traditional heating, cooling, and air conditioning systems. Solar power will also support the building's utilities, absorbing as much as 14% of the building's total electrical energy requirements. All of these are wonderful examples of what makes this roof, as well as the sustainably designed Brit building, special. Brit's demonstrable commitment to conservation, preservation, and education should be an inspiration to us all, and Brit hopes the story of the living roof will inspire you to dedicate yourself to constant conservation in every facet of your life. Continued conservation worldwide is essential to ensure the future of all mankind and the marvelous ecosystems on this, our only planet.